Hey guys, Hussein, and welcome to Project 18 of this course. So, in this video, we are going to be creating a game trailer project by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, if we click on this button right here, so it will now open this pop up box for us. And here you can see we have this video right here. So, if I just change the duration, so we would get our trailer. So, I don't want any copyright strikes. So, I will just close this right here. Okay. So, this is what we are going to be building in this project. So, without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our coder and write our code. Alright, so welcome to the 18 project of this course, which is where your trail pop up. So before getting into the project, first of all, let me just create a folder given name of like 018 and then given name of like um radio trailer pop up inside this radio trailer pop up. I'm gonna just create a uh, three files like index.html and style.css and then the last one you would have is like app.js file right here okay so there is one more thing i want to tell you attached to this video i mean like in the description of this video you will find a link which will bring you to my github repository and then i want you to just download this resource folder and inside this resource folder we would have these three things the first one will be a trailer of that game and you can download whichever kind of where you like like it shouldn't have to be like the same trailer like this one and you can choose whichever image you like but if you want to follow along with this project and you need these uh, resources so you can download that from my github repository okay so this is our play button right here which is just an image right now and no button whatsoever but this is just an image right here and then we have this call of duty image right here and then we have this trailer right here so i'm not going to play that because it will give me <laughs> a co copyright strike but you have this file attached to this video okay so the next thing which i'm going to do i'll just like cut all of these files from there and then i'll go to my project and push it right here and now we are good to go so did i just push it or <laughs> i just packed it all right so i just pushed it anyhow so i'll just write a doc type html and then i'll write like a movie trailer or game trailer and then i'll link it with my um css file and the javascript file okay so save our file and then i'm gonna right click on it and open with the live server so here's our project so then i'll just collapse that metadata and zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit clearly all right so the first thing which you have to do in html so we just have to create a div with a class of image container okay inside this image container we will have this image right here and i'm going to remove this all from there and then i'm going to hit control space and then i'll just click on this play.png and i'll also give a class of btn right here because this will be a button so then we have to create a new container or div and we have to give them a class of like trailer container and we also have to give them a class of active okay so inside this trailer container active container we would have a video with the source of this trailer right here and again you can find this video in the description of this video and then we have to just write a controls for that not content editable but controls and underneath this video we have to just write a paragraph with the uh, class of close um, icon okay and we will just have an x in it save our file and this is what html look like so first of all we have an image container inside this image container we have this image right here and which will be this play image right here let me show you that if it can render okay it's not rendering right now then we have this trailer container class and this active class right here inside this trailer container class we have this video right here and we also have this uh close icon right here all right so now we are ready to go to our styling so the first thing which we have to do in css is to just write our research like padding will be zero and margin will be zero and box sizing sizing will be just border box save it and this is how it looks like right now Okay, and then the first thing which you have to select is this image container. So I'm gonna just select the image container and the background image will be just this URL and this image right here, this thumb image. And again, you can find this image in the description of this video. All right, so then we have to just give them a height of 100 VH and background position of like um, top and then background repeat will be no repeat and they're all kind of stuff like background size will be cover and position will be relative so once we save it it will now take the entire space and it will now gives us this video because we are uh, hitting that video for now and this is also popping up right here so now let's change that 
the next thing which you have to select is this image inside this container so we just have to write image and inside this image we have to just write a position of absolute remember this is a position relative so that's why we are using this position absolute right here to take this image inside of this image container okay so we can play around with this image inside this image container so we provide a position of absolute then we have to just write a uh, bottom of 20 pixel right of 50 pixel and then width of 100 pixel and then just write a cursor of pointer and then we are going to be creating our animation so here it's looking cool but we have to provide a little bit of animation for that you know what let's just create our animation right now let's just create it so i'm going to start our animation so i'll just write like keyframes and then the animation name will be bounce and the first thing we are going to be starting from the zero and then we have just pour like transform translate y it will be taken from zero and then we have an animation timing function and it will just take like ease out okay so this is starting from the zero let me just zoom out a bit and then we have a 50 percent so once we hit a 50 percent then we want to transform translate y to minus 20 pixel okay and then you want to pour a little bit of animation uh timing function of ease in so once we're at the zero so our animation timing function will be ease out and then once we hit that 50 percent so we're going to be providing a translate y to like minus 20 percent and it will be ease in okay and then once we hit a hundred percent so we are going to be just heading like we are going to be just writing like transform not origin but just simple transform and it will take like translate y and minus not minus but just zero because we want everything to just take up its uh, zero stairs so we want to provide animation uh, of timing function to like ease out one more time so once we save it so this is quite simple animation right here so it will just allows us to bounce this button right now so now the first thing which you have to do is to just uh, give them the animation uh, name right here and then we have to give animation name is bounce copy it paste it so that's that and then we have a to provide a little bit of duration to it so animation so animation duration will be just like one second it will take one second then we have an animation um timing function so it'll take like ease in then we have an animation iteration count uh iteration count it will be infinite save it and here you go we have this bouncing effect right here okay so whenever we click on that so we have to have that pop-up effect so now let's do that so it's quite simple and easy and looking good too so now let's select our trailer container so I'll just copy a name of it and then just scroll down and then select our animation container inside this animation container the position will be totally fixed and the top will be 50 percent and the left will be also 50 percent transform will be translate not origin come on man transform will be oh my goodness transform will be translate uh not z but just uh, translate minus 50 and then minus 50 one more time and background color will be totally black as you wanted it and then width will be 100 percent and height will be also 100 percent and then we want everything to be centered so we are going to be just providing display flex justify content center align item center opacity will be one and transition will be opacity and then we will just pour 0.7 seconds save it and this is how it looks like right now because this is position fixed, so it's staying in entire space, and that's why we provide a width of 100% and a height of 100%, so it's staying in the entire space. So that's that. So now the final thing which you have to do for CSS is to just write um, a class for a JavaScript. So that's, so that's what we are going to be doing. So now I'm going to just write like active, which is this active class right here and then i want to just select the trailer container inside this trailer container we are going to be just providing visibility of hidden and the opacity to be zero save it and nothing's going to happen right now so once we click on this button so you want this 
to happen okay so this is quite simple and easy so now let's jump right into our javascript and do our magics all right so we have to grab a few things we have to grab the first thing we have to grab is our button the second thing we have to grab is our close icon and the third thing which you have to grab is our trailer container okay so we have this um close button we have this trailer container because we poured an active class to it so once we remove that so here you can see we get that um movie kind of thing right now so now let's just undo it one more time and now that's gone the final thing we have to grab is like this button there we go and we have our button right here so the first thing which you have to do is to grab our button so const btn uh btn element or just btn would be fine and then i want to just write like document.query selector of btn and the second thing which you have to grab is like container so i'll just write close icon and it will be now equals to document.query selector uh not query command query selector of that close uh icon okay and then the final thing which you have to do uh oh i forgot one more thing you also have to grab a video but i'm gonna also do that so const uh trailer container and it will be now equals to document.query selector of that trailer container container and <laughs> i forgot this one we also need our video so uh then i want to just write like const video and it will be now equals to document.query selector and then we will just select our video okay so now let's just log everything to the console like do we are really getting it or we are just faking it so we got our button we have our close close i con and then we have our trailer container and we also have our radio save it and then our console and here you go we have our image we have our close bound which is not showing up right now and then we have our container with the class of active and then finally we have our radio right here now we are good to go so now i want to just remove these console logs from there and now let's provide an add event listener to this button so i'll just write like click so whenever we click on this button so we want a few things to happen so you want this function to fire so this function will just give us like trailer container dot class list dot remove and then active so that's there so now if you click on that so here you can see it will now just close it but we cannot see our close button i don't know why but let me just refresh this browser one more time i guess i forgot to style that do i really forgot to style that close button come on <laughs> i forgot to style that close button that's why i can't see that close button i was thinking that i forgot something but i was not sure what was there so now let's uh, style our button oh and we also forgot to style or what do we call it or video so i'll just first of all style that i'm really sorry about that by the way trailer container so now let's style our video first of all position will be relative and then max uh width will be just 900 pixel and then outline will be none save it and click on it and this is how it looks like right now save it one more time i like refresh it i mean and then finally let's style or this close button where are you let's style this close button i don't know why did i forget that so let's style it close icon and then provide a position of absolute to it and also the top will be 30 pixel duplicate in the right will be also 30 pixel and then we have is a color of this awesome color like f26 um 415 so this is the color and then we have font size of 40 pixel and then we have a cursor of pointer that's that and then font family of sans serif and padding will be all around 10 pixel and border radius will be 100 percent save it and now we can see our button right here or close button so if you click on that that's gonna happen because we didn't attach any event listeners to it okay so now let's do that so i guess we are almost through done with our css but there is still one thing left which i'm gonna do just in a second but first of all let's just write our javascript okay so now let me just write one more function so now let's attach one more event listener to our close icon button so once we click on our close icon button we want this function to fire okay so you want to just a trailer container to have a class list of um active and we also want the video element uh, to just pause for a second 
and then we want our video dot current time and current time will be equal to zero all right so if i click on this button so here you can see we have this close icon right now so if i click on that so that video will be disappear so if i just play this video so it will just start working i am really afraid of copywriting so that's why i can't show you this video anymore i'm sorry about that this is it about our project but the final thing i want to add is just a little bit of media query i'm gonna write a media query for a smaller screen size like a 991 so i'll just write like media and then max width will be 991 pixel and then we have to just write a trailer container and video you want to select that video of max width of 90 percent save it and if you click on it so here we go so if you just make it a bit smaller so this is just gonna happen yeah still gonna work all right so that was it about our project and this is the javascript this is the html and this is the css so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into our next project but if you guys do know about git and github and want to watch me to push my code to my github repository so you can just wait a bit if you wanted to otherwise you can just jump right into a next project so i'm gonna just do the get status we have the 018 and it will take a little bit of time because we have images like two images and one video so it will take a little bit of time and you can just choose whichever uh video or image you like but in my case i just go with that uh call of duty so git add everything and then git commit dash m with uh um video uh trailer pop up and then if i hit enter so it will do a commit for us then git push origin main hit it and now we are live all right so now we push our code into our github account so now let's refresh it and here we go we have our o18 project right here if i click on that so it will bring me to my changes it's taking a little bit of time i don't know why but i guess that's because of my internet connection all right so here you can see we have our image right here we have our trailer video of like mp4 and then we have style.css we have our play kind of button icon and then we have our index.html file app.js file and you can just download this repository and make it your own if you want to um so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye